Okay guys, 600 Ardath Road. Nice brick home, brick, brick and rock home. Cedar fencing around the back. Manicured lawn. Two AC units, two story home. Gas unit there. Electric. Okay. Nice front porch, nice landscaping. Still in the hose bib there. And that gate opens up too. Okay. Going through the front door. Doors in this house are all eight feet. Hardwood engineering flooring. Really nice concept where you can go look straight through from one end of the house to the other as you come in. Immediately on the left, uh, the right, you have uh, office slash bedroom. It's the double doors on this one, so usually that would more likely to be the office. But it does have a closet and windows, so it could be a bedroom. Halfway down the first hallway, we have the on the right, the bathroom, a half bath for the property. And next to that, we have a closet. It's underneath the stairs, and it's a decent sized closet. Okay, left of the hall on the opposite side, we have like area where you can hang coats, boots, things as you come from the garage. Because a lot of people park the cars most straight through this area. Double car garage, floor's in really good shape, has a sprinkler system, there's your electric panel, two garage door openers, it was finished out with cheap rock. Next to that we have the laundry, so you can take things, put them straight in there from Taking stuff off. Storage, and there's your dry points, big window, really nice tall ceilings in this house. <clears throat> we carry on down into the living area. On the left, we have a huge island with chairs for sitting at. Drinks area, there's your pantry, double oven and microwave built in. It's a really nice touch. There's your pantry. Really nice features where they it comes out and goes back in. It's curved. Really nice vent hood. Grill uh, gas grill top. It's a five burner. That's nice. Fridge freezers tucked in, tidy out the way. We have dishwasher in the island, undermount sink. Hanging lights. Just over here from the area is your dining area. Phenomenal lighting here. Got three windows there, double doors, all windows along the top there. It's a really, really nice, a huge tall ceilings. It's a very grand area here. Next to that, you've got tucked away in the back here is your living room. Again, blinds are drawn, but you've got one, two, three, four, five large windows, obviously you have a gas fireplace, tray ceiling, and off of the living room we have the primary suite, again huge 
nice windows for in here. It's like a dome there, like a semicircle on the end there, so it gives a character and shape to the room. It's a good sized bed. Tall ceilings. Okay. Master bath. Really nice. Double vanity unit. Big glass. The mirror goes all the way along. One solid piece. Nice two panes of glass around the bathtub. Okay. Then you have this would be folding towel for towels and your linen closet. That's a quite a wide toilet room, that's good. Then you have your your closet, your walk-in closet at the end, which is a good size. But the cool thing is you then have a door from there into the laundry. So you can take your stuff straight through, put it in here. It is lockable from the other side in there, so if you don't want people going in and out, you can just have that lock and just use it when you need to. So then you can come back out of the living room, back into the hallway, uh, back at the, the laundry, and then we're back into the living area. Okay, so then we can go upstairs. Nice wood effect with raw iron look. Okay, stairs are carpeted, which is nice. This is the first landing area. Gives you a good view of your property. And then we go up one more. And then you have a large games room up here. Kids can play. You've got a some people put pool tables up here. All sorts of things can go up here. Okay, you have an area. This looks down over the front door. And then on this floor you have another closet, linen closet, a full bath. In here. Bedroom next to that. They use it as an office, but this one is what I would call a bedroom and use the office downstairs. Just looking for the front of the house and into the street. Then we walk onto the other side in the corner, you have good amount of storage space here. They're using it as schooling staff, books, games. And then you can go on the first door on the right, you have another bedroom. with its own vanity, which is a nice touch. So we have a Jack and Jill in here. There's your closet into the bathroom, which is a full bathroom, so this has a tub shower. And toilet. Into the other bedroom on the other side. So this one has another vanity, closet, and into the bedroom. Again, looking down the view of the street. So what you see from the upstairs view. Okay. Let's take a look, see what's in that far closet over here. This could be the attic entrance because it has a lock, so I'm assuming that. Yeah, I'm assuming that's to the attic. Because you've got two stories here. Okay, so let's go down and take a look at the 
yard. Even from here, you can see the patio. This house has got a really nice flow. You can see a lot from a lot of places. You can keep an eye on what's going on in your house. Like with kids and stuff, that door's open. Clear glass, nice. So you have your patio here. Little area there. You can come in this way. It's an average size garden. Tree in the yard, nice. And again, you can come in from this side through that gate as well. Okay, I think that is a wrap.